Hey there friend, Ken Melendez here. Today is absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful outside. It's probably one of the most amazingly fantastic weather days that I've ever seen uh, here in Northeast Ohio. So it's about 71, 72 degrees and sunny. Absolutely gorgeous. And I had to shoot this video today because we've seen a lot of things over the past days about Hard Fork 20 and about different things going on like mana, replacing your you know, voting power, and then RCs taking over for bandwidth. So it's the same thing, it's just different terminology. And we've seen, you know, accounts not being able to post very well and upvotes not working and things like that. And a lot of people are upset, but I think we're, I think we're moving past that. And right now we're actually seeing, starting to see what is happening, the fruits of Hard Fork 20 and the benefits that are gonna come as a result of it. So let's put that uh, those hard times in the past. I know Steam was definitely down for a while, but now it's back up and running and people are able to use their accounts and use them in a, in a meaningful way. So today guys, I want to talk to you about something that I'm really passionate about and that is block trades. If you guys have not checked out block trades before, you probably have, but if you haven't, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, especially if you have a Steam account because what's going to happen is it's going to allow you to quickly exchange your cryptocurrencies and that's what it is. It's basically a fast way to exchange cryptos. So say you want to take your Steam and you want to turn it into cash. Well, one of the ways that you can do that is you can actually use block trades to send your Steam over to block trades they'll switch it out for bitcoin send the bitcoin over to your coinbase wallet and from coinbase you can then cash out so that is one of the ways that you can use block trades but another way is you can actually take your crypto that you buy on coinbase and you can push it to block trades and they'll switch it out for you and they'll give you either steam steam power or steam back dollars so it's a really awesome service and I've been using it ever since I started here on Steam back in December of 2017 and I wanted to just talk to you about it. In fact, I want to give you a walkthrough on my screen exactly how to use block trades and how it can be an efficient way for you to move your cryptos and transfer and exchange from one to another either from Steam to Bitcoin or you know Ethereum or Litecoin or one of the other coins or taking one of those other coins and turning them into steam so whatever you want to do you can do that block trades is extremely easy their interface is you know very easy to navigate and that's what i like i like simple i don't like complex i want it to be simple and i want it to be straightforward so block trades definitely delivers on that so i want to give you a walkthrough of block trades of their website and show you how you can get started exchanging your cryptocurrencies using block trades so check this out okay hey there friend welcome to my laptop this is blocktrades.us and if you haven't signed up for an account before this is what you're going to see you're going to see the sign up screen all you have to do is put in your email address and your password and then confirm your password and then hit submit and then you'll be able to start trading on block trades so it's really easy sign up process and the easier the better the simpler the better so all you have to do once you're signed up is just sign in and i've already signed in on this website so i'm just gonna click submit my email and password and then it's going to take me right into the block trade site now disregard this little statement right here that says if you try to purchase a Steam related token um, that they'll process it as soon as possible. That's just because of the hard fork. Uh, normally that message is not there, so just disregard it in this video. And what I'm gonna show you is kind of an overview of how this website works. So right here at the top, you're gonna see this bar and it's gonna give you different pages that you can go to. So if I click on Steam, it's gonna take me to the buy Steam account page, the buy Steam power, or buy Steam delegation. So depending on what you wanna do in relation to Steam, you can do it right there with those options. And then if you click about, it's gonna tell you, you know, more about the website and who Block Trades is and some different technical language right there. You can check that out at your own leisure. Feel free to do that. And then if you click on contact, it's gonna show you uh, their email address where you can send them an email if you have a question or you know you just wanna know something about block trades that you don't know already, just shoot them a message and they will get back to you as soon as they can. 
If you click on news, it will take you to their actual Steemit account. So click on that, it will take you right into steemit.com at Block Trades. And as you can see, they joined way back when the platform was launched, way back in March of 2016 is when they joined. So that's really awesome. I'm gonna go back to their website and you can click on news to see the latest news here that I just showed you. Hold on a second. I'm losing my mind, guys. So if you click on language, it's just gonna take you to the different languages. Right now, obviously I'm choosing English, but there's a couple other options as well. So I'm gonna go back to quick trade and I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is. Now, like I said previously, if you wanna take your Steam and turn it into Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ethereum, one of those other uh, forms of currency, you can do that. So all you have to do is go down here and first of all, I'm signed in. You can make sure that you're signed in by clicking this little um, little person at the top right of the screen, and it's gonna show your email address. If you see your email address, that means you are good to go. So now, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna click on Steam. And if I wanna take my Steam, say I wanna take my 100 Steam here, and I wanna trade it for Litecoin. So, Usually what I'll do, if I do ever want to cash out my Steam, then what I'll do is I'll go in here and use block trades and I'll trade it out for Litecoin. The Litecoin then gets deposited into my Coinbase account. And then from Coinbase, I can then remove the crypto and turn it directly into cash. So that's the really cool thing about the crypto space is that it's very liquid in that you can actually just take the Steam that you've earned or the Steam that you've bought and turn it back into cash. So it's really awesome. So if I wanna trade my Steam for Litecoin, all I have to do is put in how much Steam that I wanna trade and how much I wanna actually send to Block Trades, and they're actually gonna give me Litecoin. They're actually gonna put it into my Coinbase account. So I put in my receive address down here, and then once I do, then I'll be able to send the Steam to Block Trades and then get Litecoin in return. So it's really, really easy. If you look and see down here, I've completed 36 different transactions since December of 2017. So I've been using this platform for quite a while and it's really awesome. All right, so since Steam is under maintenance right now, I'm gonna show you an, an example of how you can take your Litecoin and you can trade it for Monero, which is one of the other altcoins. So basically all I have to do is type in one Litecoin right here and then receive, I wanna actually receive Monero for that. So I earlier I choose Monero. Great, awesome. So then now I'm gonna put in my Monero address so that I, I can actually receive that Monero into my Monero account. So if I input that address, and then I can also input a payment ID, which is optional, then I can click on get deposit address, and I'll be able to send that Litecoin over to Blocktrades, and they'll switch it out for me and turn it into Monero and drop it directly into my Monero account, which is really, really awesome. So that is the really easy process, guys. I've done 36 different transactions so far using block trades, and I couldn't be happier with this service. They're just super easy to use. Um, their support is amazing. And as you can see, all you have to do is just choose what you wanna do. They switch it out really fast. I would say the average transaction time is a couple minutes. You know, it's really, really fast. Obviously right now they're under maintenance with Steam because of the hard fork 20. But other than that, guys, Block Trades is an awesome website, super easy to use. Um, I couldn't be happier with them. I use them all the time. They're my primary exchange here um, with Steam, with helping me build my Steam account. So I want to thank Block Trades and everyone on the team there for creating this website and making it so easy for Steam users to grab a hold of this service. So that's all I have on this website. Okay, wasn't that fantastic? That was a walkthrough of the Block Trades website. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend that you do. I'm gonna leave a link below this video. You're gonna be able to click on that link and you're gonna be able to go to the Block Trades website where you can start exchanging your cryptos right away. So it's as easy as that, guys. All you have to do is go to the site, sign in, and you are good to go. So thank you so much for watching this video and for watching how to use block trades and how it can enhance your experience in the cryptocurrency space. And I can't wait to see you in the next video, my friend. Until next time, this has been Ken Melendez. Have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.